Hey guys, welcome back to Working Class Outdoors. Today we got a quick little fishing tip video. We got Trey Nichols from Team Skyline Marine talking to you a little bit about fishing a shaky head, which for him is pretty much year round. Anyway, guys, um, if you like this little video, hope you hope you like the video. Give us a thumbs up comment below subscribe to our channel all that good stuff we appreciate you and as always remember we're working for a living and living for the outdoors thanks for watching hi guys skyline marine here again uh trey nichols pro staff it's the, the shaky head is, is really a great way to catch fish year-round. I mean, there's not a single time in a year that you cannot catch a fish on a shaky head. Let's just be honest. I mean, it works great in the winter all the way through the summer, spring, and all. You can skip it under docks, you can flip it in bushes, and you can fish it offshore. You can catch suspended fish with it. Um, change your weights up, and you can change the rate of your fall. Do whatever you want to. Um, a lot of people like to throw it on a spin rod. There's nothing wrong with that, but I found, especially fishing in the lakes that we fish, uh, you need to you need to step it up and and have a little more backbone, a little heavier line, and a little bit stronger reel to get the job done. Um, I like a seven foot medium heavy fast tip rod uh, to throw it on, 15 to 12 pound test, um, and depending on what I'm fishing, how heavy a shaky head I'm throwing. I'll even go up to like 17 pound Seaguar and Viz X, um, and, and that's it. I mean, I, I, I like that combination, and it's got the backbone to get the job done. Um, 8 5 to 1 left handed reel again. The rod's always in your hand. That fish might hit it as soon as it hits the water, it might hit it when it hits the bottom. But at the same time, that rod's always in my hand. I'm always feeling that bite. Um, now let's talk a little bit about colors. Let's keep it simple. I mean, green pumpkin, black, and maybe a June bug, depending on the water clarity. Um, trick worm, that's all you need. Sometimes you need to go to a finesse worm, but really and truly, the, the, just the good old Zoom trick worm will get the job done. Um, as far as jig heads go, um, I, I like spot remover. They were one of the first shaky heads that came out. They're good, they're easy to come by. Uh, then they get the job done and that's 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 all I throw. I, I buy 20-30 packs at the beginning of the year of these things. Um, 3 sixteenths, quarter ounce, 5 sixteenths, and an eighth every now and then. I usually tend to stick with that quarter ounce most all the time. Um, and, and sometimes I'll lighten it up, sometimes I'll, I'll make it heavier. Um, I go to a 5 sixteenths whenever they're out deep. And I'll go to a 3 sixteenths in shallower water. But I tend to stick with that quarter ounce most all the time. Um, you know, a simple setup. I take and bite the head of my worm off just a little bit, like the first little ring down there, just to get you a flat spot. And take and screw it up on the head. Try to keep it as straight as possible. The straighter you get it on there, the better off you are. It's not going to twirl when it falls. Um, you're going to get a straight straight fall and that's not the best in the world that I can do either um, I like to look at where my hooks gonna come out so I know exactly where I need to penetrate the worm at and what I'll do is is I'll run that hook on out the outside of that worm and let it fall just like that and then I'll take him back up just a hair skin hook it now that worm right there is completely weedless but at the same time, it's barely in the meat of the worm. So that, that way, whenever that fish bites, you get a good hook set. The only bad thing about just sticking the hook through the worm, you can run it in there. Well, now you got that much more rubber you got to go through to get that hook to penetrate in that fish's mouth. So I usually like to back up, expose the hook, barely skin hook it in that worm. Now, when you get ready to drive them, it's, it's there. You're, you're going to get a good hook set. You're not going to lose as many fish. And that ought, that ought to help out tremendously with your shaky head fishing. Thank you for watching. Skyline Marine here. Have a good day.